Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Ashley B. <laughs> Thank you for coming, lads. Yay! Yay! Oh, yay. Yay is a strange word, isn't it? Because when you say it as an adult, it always does sound slightly, you know, like you're a children's television presenter or you're being really sarcastic. Yay! But when you're as a, an adult, or when you're a child even, it's your go-to word for enthusiasm. You know when you come home and you're like, oh, we're having something breadcrumbed for dinner. Yay! You know, oh, your auntie Bernie's not going to jail for that pyramid scheme she was involved in. Yay! But when you say it as an adult, it does always sound a little bit sarcastic. It's like when your flatmate comes home and says, oh, I just got a new job. And you go, yay! It sounds like you're going, yay! What was it, a hand job? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, you're all welcome to this lovely radio gig. It's all for the radio, so make sure you make lots of noise for the people back home. Um, obviously, it's for radio, so we have scaled the Edinburgh Fringe to find the ugliest comedians who will never make it onto television just so their voice, too, can be heard. Because they are people, too. They may not look like people. Some of them have no eyeballs. One has a nose where his ear should be, but God, he's funny. God, he's funny and he has a heart like, you know, the scarecrow does. Um, if he only had a brain. Um, so it is a very visual thing, so we might have to explain things to the people back home. Uh, for the people listening in, I am very white with black hair. Uh, I suppose I look a bit like Michael Jackson uh, before he had the nose job, uh, but I am monkeyless and have contributed nothing to, to music. Uh, but sometimes I am that pale because I'm Irish. Um, people, people often do come up to me in the street and go, are you Michael Jackson? And I just find it so funny. I go, hee hee, you know. Um, any couples in, any couples in? Oh, they were all sent to the back because no one's interested in you, to be honest. Um, what about uh, single ladies? Oh, and then single men. Ah, yeah, there it is. There it is. The sound of joy from the single men. I think uh, single ladies was probably the song by Beyonce. was probably the worst thing to happen to single ladies in a long time. Because as soon as that song gets played on the dance floor, like the opening bars go, do, 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 do. Like women, we make this noise like, nah! Fruit bats start arriving, thinking it's their mating season. I mean, as a man, you couldn't go near any single ladies. Even want to, if you want to try and catch one of those elusive beasts, you couldn't just walk into that. You could get punched in the knob during the oh, oh, oh. You know, you have to be very careful. So single ladies leave when the single lady comes on, because all the men are in the loo hiding, going, oh, I just really want to get to know her. I just really want to get to know her as a girl. Um, but yes, I, I'm mad into music, though. I, uh, in particular, obviously love hip-hop and um, I love hip-hop I really do like sometimes when people are singing I just shout out Sean de Paul uh, <laughs> you know just like just like Sean Paul does when he's singing you know I mean you have to be careful when you do that though lads it is awkward during a funeral <laughs>